Credit to CD. Um, we've been doing a lot of extra work um, just with some getting some moves around the basket. So that's helped me a lot. Um, and even just my teammates, you know, kind of being patient with me, continuing to give me the ball, even though sometimes during the season I've kind of been a little like not as consistent down there. They still um, trusted me and still fed me the ball down there. I mean, Meg had another pretty good effort and you got totally did some good things. Yeah. It seems like you guys do that, I guess, Temple, but is it, is, is it kind of good to see a lot, a lot of the reserves kind of get into a, a good good frame of mind at this time of year? Yeah, I think it's important um, just to build confidence. Um, you know, we can say it's just to Temple, but I mean, they were aggressive and they were scrapping, so it's not like it was just against nobody. Um, so it's good to see um, kind of just Thule have like kind of a shining game. And even for me and Meg, we, you, you know, we know that we're one of the first two coming off the, the bench. Um, so so I think it was just important for us, especially rolling into postseason play, to just come in and add what we can add to the team, to the starting five. You, you saw as a leader of that group, you played a lot of basketball more than most of anyone else in that group, but do you try to be a leader and help them if, if they need your help? I mean, yeah. I mean, I try to just, especially Meg, just um, continue to give her confidence and just, you know, let her know that I, I guess, believe in her. Because <laughs> um, she's a really talented player and I know it's freshman year and all that stuff, but she's she's proven herself in a couple of games and so um, I just try to continue to just give her a little, I guess, nuggets of encouragement. That offensive rebound where she tips the ball and scores in the lane, you guys, I don't know if you're on the court for that or not, but I know I was talking a little crazy. Yeah. How important can a play like that be for, for a young player still trying to get her confidence? I think it's really important. You know, she makes that play now. She knows she can do that. So that's something that she can continue to try to go and get after um, in each and every game. And so I think it's just it was just cool to see her come out and make uh, pretty good plays. Do you find the young more excited when they come to games and they know right, there's a pretty good chance and they get some minutes? this game and do you have to calm them down at all and get them back into it or do you think that they're, they're embracing these opportunities to show what they can do? Um, I think they're just embracing the opportunities, you know. Um, I th they probably obviously know that they're going to get more minutes, but um, I think every game they work on just making sure that they're ready. Um, obviously some games they don't play as much, but you know, anything can happen and that's just the reality of the game. So. Um, you know, I know they've been working on all, all year just being ready to go on that start to then shoot around practices leading up to it, different things like that. They prepared just like all of us prepared. So, thank you. Coach said that you looked as good as he's seen you in a while. Did you feel different out there today? Just like you knew what you wanted to accomplish or you were more confident? I think I was more confident, um, which felt really nice after what seems like forever. Um, but I think just being more comfortable in my role and what it is that I need to bring to this team. And so, um, it felt good knowing that I positively impacted and helped my teammates in ways that you know some other players on the team may not be able to. Um, but it just was a good feeling to kind of just be crashing the boards, um, kind of being not automatic in the paint, but I mean exploiting just different things and being able to score like comfortably down there.